Hello everyone, this is Martin Meyer from Foundry and welcome to a new episode of Workflow Wednesdays. In this video, we'll have a look at the way you can use the NoOp node to optimize and streamline your scripts. The NoOp node can be created by going to a toolbar, going to the other section and creating NoOp node. Alternatively, you can right-click on your node graph and choose other and again create NoOp. My favorite way is to use the tab menu and just start typing no up and that will propagate all the way up. If I double click this, you'll see that the no op node has no properties and it allows us to create our own custom user interface to control the various aspects of the composites. We'll start by creating a master control node for this pack shop that will allow uh, me or anyone down the road to control all the important or often changing aspects of the composite uh, from one central location. So I'll just go ahead, press tab and create a no op node. And to make it easier uh, for everyone to find it, I'll uh, hide the input so that way the connection will disappear. Uh, call it master control. And also I'll make the font bigger so it's easier to spot. With this particular shot, we will need a control over the focus of the background. We'll also need a control over which bottle is being used. And also we will need a control over the output location and potentially the input location. So all of that can be merged into the master control. Let's start by creating a place for our controls to reside in. So just go ahead and enable the interface editor in editing mode and drag and drop the tab into our node. Okay, so with the tab created, I can just click on this little circle and edit its settings. So I would like to call it control and the label will be also control. So the first thing I would like to create the control over the defocus of the background. Let's add a the focus node right here. I'll just zoom it so it affects only this pipe and double click its properties. With my edit node still selected, I can drag and drop any property from any node to my control tab. For example, I take the defocus. That will create a connection between my nodes. Another useful way to create direct connections are expressions. Let's say you have pre-designed your user interface and you have uh, channels that you would like to link together. So let's say I will do this on the aspect ratio channel. So let's say I will create a new floating slider here and let's rename it to aspect. Then I can close the editing of the user interface and click on the controlling channel and with a cl control click, drag and drop it on the channel that I would like to control. If I release, you'll see that there will be a green line connecting those two channels and they become one. So let's set it to one or anything in between and you can see that those two are linked by expression. This type of connection also gives you the opportunity to add any kind of math operation. So if I right click on this and go to edit expression, then I will see what is it directly connecting to. And here you can, let's say, multiply this by half and that will result in a half of the incoming number. Here I see the result. I can multiply it. In this case, though, I would like the connection to stay direct. Next control that I would like to create is a simple drop down that will allow me to pick and choose which bottle the comp will be using. So I can enable my editing of the user interface. First, I will separate the tools added by adding a divider line. And next one, I would like to add a drop down menu, pull down choice. And then I can go and populate it with my data. So I'll just hit the uh, edit settings button, call it version copy the name and then I'll name my versions level A B, C. Next thing I need to bring in my switch node. 
So if I open it up, I will be presented with which attribute that I would like to be controlled by my bottle version. Now, if I click control and try to drag this or do any kind of connection, um, that won't be possible. So we have to establish the expression ourselves. So we need to grab the name of the node that should be controlling this property. And I'll just hit equal sign and paste the name in it. Now we named our attribute here or our property version. So I'll say just dot version and hit OK. Now this result, if I look at the output of this, will be controlled by our version attribute. So if I switch this, it will switch the corresponding value integer in our switch node. And this way you can create your own custom-made expression connections between various properties in your scripts. The last thing I would like to do is to have the file name that we are outputting or writing reflect our bottle a version change. So every time I render with the proper settings, it will get the proper name based on uh, the properties on master control. To be able to do this, we just need to replace the part of the file name that you would like to be dynamic uh, with a little bit of uh, code. So I'll just go ahead and create a square brackets and type in value, which will be querying value. And then I'll steal my master control name and we'll be addressing or we'll be querying its version channel or property. Now we have, when I hit enter, you'll see that the output file name uh, is now using whatever is set in your master control. So if I change this to B, I'll get bottle B. Now this is not dynamic, but uh, when I do actually render, I'll get outputs uh, that will have the proper names after the render.